So we are here at the UK Games Expo and it is my pleasure to, again, finally, after so many months and months without being able to go to expos, be able to sit and talk, well, stand and talk with Ian Livingstone about your experiences with the show so far and what you've been up to. Uh, it's been a long, long time. I think we talked to you back in 2019, yeah. but it's nice, obviously, to be back with loads of other people playing games and everything. How's it been for you? Is it good? It's great to actually be back with people <laughs> and um, meeting people, playing games, talking about games. But I've been here mainly to talk about my life in games. I gave a talk yesterday to a, to an audience that seemed to love hearing about the early days of Games Workshop <laughs> and finding fantasy. Uh, I've been selling copies of uh, the hardback edition, the limited edition of uh, Assassins of Alancia. And tonight, I'm going to try and lure John Robertson, Mr. Darkroom, to his death as we take him through City of Thieves with the audience trying to give him really bad advice. Yeah. So we're trying to make him fail because he, he spends a lot of time obviously meeting out a lot of deaths. So it's about time he, he was taken down. So uh, yeah, I've been really enjoying the, the show. I bought some board games. I've got a collection of over a thousand board games at home. And it's great to go back to my roots and uh, you know immerse yourself in, in board games. Yeah. Have you got a particular favorite from the games you picked up here this weekend so far that you're like, I, I'm dying to play that? Uh, I bought quite a few. I think the one I'm most excited about is New York Zoo. Mm -hmm. uh, that looks pretty ex pretty much right up my street. I mean, at my age, I can't do the kind of super long games anymore. <laughs> so we like kind of mid-tier games like uh, Central Spice Road, Splendor, that kind of level. So what are you, obviously you were talking about the new stuff you've been doing, but have you got some future plans that you could talk to us about? Well, maybe some more of the fighting fantasy stuff that's on the way and things? Or? Well, I've got, um, just finished putting uh, together a book called The Dice Man, which is with the publisher now. That's about the history of the first 10 years of Games Workshop. That's been a labor of love. It's, t it's probably about two years late, but uh, <laughs> sorry about that, folks. But it's been an awful lot of work uh, assembling, you know, not just the content, but gathering images and photographs from all those years back and trying to fact check a lot of the stuff from our kind of sometimes befuddled memories. <laughs> uh, I'm also working on the Fighting Fantasy game book because it's the 40th anniversary next year. So there will be a Fighting Fantasy Fest 4, which will be happening in London around the time of the publication date of, of Walker Fight Top Mountain, which was August 1982. So getting quite excited about that. But my kind of day-to-day -day activities are largely around video games. So, you know, I'm a chairman of a couple of companies in that space and uh, and uh, yeah, I'm very excited to be in that industry too. But you know, my passion really is still board games and, and obviously fighting fantasy. I was gonna say, so it must be nice to come to something like a UK Games Expo and be able to play games or talk about games yeah. and, and, and you know see everyone enjoying them as well. I mean, you never lose that excitement trying to find the next big thing. Yeah. The one that's going, oh wow, I can't wait to play that. Because I've been running this thing called the Games Night Club for since the 1980s in which Steve Jackson, and my partner at Games Workshop is a member and uh, Peter Molyneux from the video games industry, some other guys. So, uh, you know, we, we, we take our board games very seriously, but we always play to win and smile at them, each other, and stab <laughs> each other in the back. As the only way to possible. do it. It's <laughs> <laughs> the only way to do it. Well, it was fantastic talking to you, Ian. I hope you have a really good rest of the convention. Uh, we're going to move on and get into some more videos. We'll see you guys very, very soon.